Well, well, welcome to the. Oh, why is this not working? Hmm, interesting. Well, I hope everyone's having a wonderful Saturday or Sunday. It's Sunday. Jesus. All right. Let me just go over here to see how the mic is working on my other. Let's see here. Oh, there's isn't. Okay, good. All right. So it looks like my sound's good. How delayed is this thing? This is okay, good. How delayed is this thing? <laughs> All right. So we're a little good. We got a little bit of delay here. So today I figured talk a little bit about some television shows, some TV. Got some uh Got some from my own collection to show. And I have dropped a link in case anyone wants to uh, show up and uh, talk about their favorite TV shows or whatever the heck you guys want to talk about. Because um, we always go off uh, off script. This is my first time doing a live stream on StreamYard, so trying to, I did a, I was a guest spot on Jose's uh, Amazing Worlds channel. This is the first time that I get to actually be in control, so I am trying to figure out what all these buttons mean. All right. Oh, that's what I was doing. Yeah, I'm a little early, so uh, I'm supposed to start at 1, and it is uh, 12.40 right now. So I'm going to just uh, power on through here. Uh, where did I put all my uh, stuff? I should have done this before, but... Uh, I figure I'm early, so I can screw around a little bit here. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. All right, so I keep on getting distracted. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Found it. All right, so I'm going to talk about a little bit about. Uh, we might have Jose joining. Uh, but let's talk. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and talk about some TV shows. Uh, I'm sorry again. Jesus, this is taking forever to get on here. Thank <laughs> you. 
There we go. All right. All right, there we go. All right, so before, okay, so with uh, these TV shows, uh, definitely, I think we got to start with The Simpsons, right? Uh, the Simpsons have been on a, re a staple since uh, since uh, they were created. <laughs> I think it was 89 or 88, 80, I think it was 89. And uh, I remember, yeah, every Sunday would we'd always have to watch The Simpsons. Or that's what my folks, that was actually one of the TV shows my folks let me watch. Uh, it's gone down, it's like that mid-90s Simpsons run was some of the best TV that there were, that there was. Um Uh, their newer stuff is a little, a little. Uh, it's all right. It's not as good. I've had. I watched on Disney Plus, but uh, the newer stuff wasn't as. Uh, it, I don't know. It's. I, it'll be interesting to see how they're going to wrap up that series, or if Matt Groening is just going to say, uh, you know, just say no and just not do it. <laughs> but. Uh, We'll see, but yeah, that that'll be a uh, that'll that's definitely a Hall of Fame TV show. For some reason, my phone is not bringing up my list that I had. Oops. Uh, so yeah, so Simpsons is definitely uh, one of my favorites, and then. So after this, uh, so of course with the Simpsons you have you know King of the Hill. King of the Hill was pretty dang good, um, uh, and then obviously like Family Guy. Family Guy was pretty good. It, it, it's still pretty good. I think that's that might be, you know, that the Family Guy stuff is something that you have to. Uh, I think you have to have to have a taste for it's. It, you know, I don't know if you're going to necessarily like it if you're in the fan of the Simpsons or if you're going to switch it off, but. Uh, I want to show you guys. Let's start this off. So I'm gonna I'm gonna show off a little bit of my collection here. Uh, so obviously, ugh, Stranger Things is one of the best TV shows on television right now. Uh, but I really like this uh, how they, this this packaging. I gotta remember. So. It looks like an old-fashioned VHS tape. So, and even on the back, this is how they used to look. All these horror, old horror films, always used to look like that. But so it comes in old VHS, and then it just comes in like that. So. I didn't get into Stranger Things until like everyone was talking about it. I remember back in what 2016 was this, and uh, didn't get into it until you know it started to get the hype training and stuff like that. Uh, uh, finally watched it, and holy crap, this first season was absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then I so then. So you can kind of watch Stranger Things that first season as a whole. You don't really have to go on, but it's recommended that you do go put go on. But so I have season two here. So it comes in another old fashioned like uh, thing. Season two uh, to me was a letdown. Uh, it wasn't as good as the uh, first one. Um. And then the third, I don't know if they're going to release a third, but I probably will buy it if they come in like a uh, collector's edition kind of thing like that. But uh, 
the third one's good. The third one is good. So Stranger Things, if you have not, that definitely should be on your radar if you're into like uh, science fiction horror stuff. It it brings a lot. I was not. I was. I did not uh, grow up in the '80s. But apparently, if you grew up in the '80s, there's just nostalgia factor here. Obviously, um, apparently they like. I was listening to a podcast, and the guy who grew up it grew up in the '80s said, "Yeah, they nailed everything. They got everything right." Um, obviously, because I mean, I believe the uh, the people who created this did grow up in the '80s. Oh shoot, I can't shut it. All right. So that's Stranger Things. Stranger Things is not is high up on that list. Um, obviously, we have to talk about Game of Thrones. So it gets a lot of uh, hate for that ending. And don't get me wrong, that ending was pretty bad um but i think the journey the journey is worth the wait i or the uh, not the what am i trying to say the journey is um is worth it it was a lot of fun let me see here oh, okay we're good we're good we're good all right yeah so i don't know who hasn't watched like game of thrones there's i mean it's a pretty big phenomenon so, um, I'm waiting for, I would like to read the books. I read the first book. I do need to read the entire series though, but I'm waiting for them to all come out because I don't know if they are going to actually come out. So, um, so yeah, Game of Thrones is probably number one. Um, the journey is just so much more, so much fun. It, it is a letdown, but you know, whatever. It's something that it, you have to see. Oh, let's see. Wait, uh, we've got uh, Friends. Friends was, you know, that was another global phenomenon. Uh, uh, and yeah, I, hey, John. Yeah, I did start a little early. I got a little bored, so I decided to come on here and uh, just talk about. Uh, some tv shows uh if you if you feel, feel free to come on if you want or post it in the comments like what are your uh i just talked about um uh stranger things Ooh, whoop. in that cool case that we got here but uh i'll show it again for you like uh you know i remember getting these from video stores i remember owning a few of these things but uh yeah, the kids nowadays have no idea what the hell that is. <laughs> but uh, so I was talking about Stranger Things and how if you're into like that, uh, that, uh, you know, Stephen King-esque, it feels like a Stephen King series kind of like thing. But um, yeah, and then, I, and then I just talked about Game of Thrones. I mean, we can kind of touch on that. We've, uh, we've talked a lot about Game of Thrones here before, and I'm sure we'll revert back to that. But uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, if you yeah, if you want to come on, feel free. But uh, otherwise, yeah, post a comment. What's your uh, what is your favorite? Uh, uh, what are some TV shows that I should not miss? That in your opinion? Uh, so yeah, oh yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. So the for is that the official original Star Wars movie before they edit it, or do you actually have like the very? Well, wait. I, I guess I I wouldn't know when they. Uh, yeah. Do you have like the original first cut Star Wars movies, or are they all edited now? Um, when he uh, decided to do that with his movies. Um, all right. Yeah. So I was talking about like friends. Yeah. Friends was a very iconic show. Um, even though it wasn't very real realistic, cause I don't understand how, um, a bunch of people who, who, uh, you know, had some odd jobs afforded, uh, uh, could afford to live in New York city in those lavish apartments they had. But yeah, so friends is up there. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, I've got, uh, okay. 
I know this this gets a lot of sh- uh, crap, I should say. Uh, but uh, I've got the Big Bang Theory here. That is next on my list to talk about. Um, I like it. I Big Bang Theory is uh, is um, it's like a comfort food for some reason. I I just really enjoy. I don't know why. It's cheesy. It's it's a lot. It gets a lot of hate, and it it you know it it does have some cheese factor to it, and uh, uh, but I enjoy it. It is like uh, it is a um, what am I trying to say? It's like a warm soup on a cold day. That doesn't make any sense. All right. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. So I just finished the tenth season of The Walking Dead. I like this picture better. That's this is a cool steel book. So The Walking Dead. Um, in my opinion, The Walking Dead. It is like a roller coaster. It starts out great. Um, well, first off, the first four seasons of Walking Dead were absolutely spectacular. Probably one of the best TV shows uh, on television at that time. Um, that being said, the rest of the show, it is kind of like a roller coaster, I feel. Uh, it's, you know, it starts out high and uh, and then it it goes in a dip. It's all, it's pretty, you know, paper cutter kind of thing, uh, cookie cutter. Uh, you know what's going to happen. There's going to be a dip in the middle, and then it's going to rise at the very end, and it's going to make you want to uh, watch the rest. Let's see. What do we got here? It's the first one. Oh, okay. Yes, the early seasons of Big Bang Theory were uh, obviously the, were the best. Okay, so you do have the... Okay, so you do have the originals. All right, all right. That's cool. That's cool. You don't want, you don't, uh, you don't want to get the the blu-ray edition to see it on like hd and stuff like that or uh high definition you didn't want to uh did you go see the uh the re-release i my dad took me to uh the 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 first one a new hope when it came out what was that 96 i think he took me he took me and my buddies to that just so we could see star wars on the big screen so i i can say that i did have watched a new hope on the big screen um and that was pretty dang cool. The star fights and all that fun stuff, the laser blast, the surround sound for 96. That was pretty cool. You can get that anywhere in your home, but uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. So, um, Oh, I did finish the walking dead uh, 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 comic book series. And, you know, I think I was talking to Jose about this. Like you did, I did push through it. I read it way too fast. I couldn't let it like sink in. And I got kind of sick and tired of reading them, but I wanted to get it done so I could say that I have read Walking Dead. Um, and you know what? You know, yeah, it was okay. It kind of there was while I was reading, I was reading reviews like what people, what the fans thought, and a lot of them did think that. Um, oh, first off, John, like, am I good here? Like, can you hear me all right and everything like that? Um, Okay, yeah, all right. You did see the special editions, but uh, yeah, so it sounds like you, you like uh, everything's coming in well. Okay, um, but yeah, a lot of the fans of The Walking Dead they were kind of thinking like, why is this still like going on? I guess like, and there was a lot of places it could have stopped, like, and it did kind of go out with a whimper. It was not uh, okay. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I don't know how long the delay is here, but uh, um. Yeah, so uh, I am looking forward to the 11th season of The Walking Dead. Uh, I don't think I'll watch any of the 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 spinoffs though. I just want to see where the arc is, and uh, and uh, that'll be that. Um, we'll see. AMC has really been just they're kind of putting all of their eggs in this Walking Dead basket. And I mean, don't get me wrong; like Walking Dead is uh a huge blockbuster tv series and it's made amc a lot of money but uh you know was that yeah i think yeah breaking bad was it breaking bad was their flagship uh tv show but um you can definitely tell why they're putting a lot of money into walking dead series and uh with that world uh there's some movies coming out which my opinion with the movies, they, they, I think they missed their mark on the movies. Like they should have released those movies, 
um, you know, what was that? That was like in 2017 when Rick or, you know, when uh, Andrew Lincoln left that series to make those movies. Um, yeah, they should have capitalized that like within like six months of that, because I don't think the movies are going to work. I think it's supposedly going to be a trilogy of films. Um, so I don't think it's going to work, but I'll watch them, you know, of course, because I, I st I'm very curious to see what the heck they do with that. Um, but uh, yeah, I don't have any interest to watch it because there's that world beyond, which I've heard. I had one of the guys at work watched like a one episode. Apparently it was just trash. I tried fear the walking dead. Um, and I think I watched the first season and a half of that and, these characters, so, so, so they, they were so dumb. And apparently it got better. Apparently season four and on from the Fear of the Walking Dead are phenomenal. Um, I really like that Garrett Dillahunt they got. Um, he was in Justified a few things. I think he was in the original ter the Terminator TV show that came out. Didn't watch it. Apparently it got canceled. Apparently it wasn't very good. But um, yeah, so uh, you know, to wrap up the Walking Dead chat, um, I think they, uh, I think that just needs to die. It just literally needs to stop. I think people, at least I'm getting kind of fatigued. Um, uh, let, let breaking bad. So breaking bad is one of the best TV shows. And I, I, I held off on, I had, I held off on watching that TV show for the longest time. And I found it at a pawn shop for uh, the whole box set for like 10 bucks. I remember. And at the time I was working overnights. Uh, so I was able to watch, you know, the whole season about a, or the whole TV show in about a month. Um, and yeah, that, that, that's pretty good. You have to be in a state of mind. There's, you know, I, I I'm not going to talk about spoilers, uh, but um, yeah, it's it, the character arcs in, the, in that TV show is, was is really good um but uh you, you definitely have to be in a state of mind it's it's not a it's not a happy series oh speaking of happy series how about modern family i have yeah i i've watched all of modern family uh that's a great that was a fun show uh really the first like six seasons of that you know after six you know, they got a little um got, you could tell that they're running out of steam but uh the first six were absolutely hilarious oh welcome Can you, you hear not can you hear me i can't hear you <laughs> see here i just hear a lot of clicking <laughs> Yeah, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, okay. You're going to come back? Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, well, that was, okay, so he, so, uh, nobody, could anyone else hear him, or is it just me? I just heard, like, clicking. So, um... Okay, John. Yes, Modern Family is 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 real is pretty funny. That's that's hilarious. But uh, uh, yeah, let me know if you could. How's it going? Cool times. Hey, what's going on? Could you guys hear Jose? I could. I okay, okay. So it it wasn't okay. So it was something on his end. Uh, I, all I heard was like clicking. Um, what was I talking about? Modern, yeah, Modern Family. Uh, yeah. Go watch Modern Family. It's a it's a fun documentary type shows, and that's kind of what I like. Uh, moving on from Modern Family onto Parks and Recs, another amazing documentary show. Um, and then we obviously have to talk about The Office. The Office, in my opinion, is the best. Let's see. Here's Jose again. Yeah, I can't hear you. Is there something on my end that I have to do? clicking what is this 
I can't hear you. <laughs> All I hear is like clicking. Okay, well, I don't know what cool times is. What's going on with you? All right, goodbye for you. <laughs> um, yeah, Jose, I, I, I apologize. I can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. I wonder what happened there. I'm not technically savvy here, so... Uh... All right, uh, so The Office. Uh, well, that sucks. Hopefully, he'll be able to come back. I don't know. All right, um, The Office is probably the best comedy TV show, the, the American version. I, I have watched the British version, um, but the and which is great. I mean, don't get me wrong. The British version of The Office is, is good. Um, it's just that uh, what Mike Schur and... Um, uh, is it Dan Gore? I believe his name is. What they did with it is they just took it to the next level. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Uh, the care again. The character arcs. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna cry. You're gonna hate some characters. But it it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I know I sound like a broken record talking about that, but uh, um, uh. You could definitely tell, like, seasons, what, uh, how many seasons did that go for? Ten? Let me see here. Oh, nine. So, like, season eight and nine, uh, you could definitely tell that they were, uh, you know, running on fumes. Uh, there was some great moments in that, in that those two seasons, but uh, it was not... Uh, it was not nearly as good as the first like seven with Steve Carell. Stephen Carell really carried that show, and it really launched a lot of careers. I mean, we wouldn't have um, the Quiet Place without The Office, uh, and then we probably wouldn't have Parks and Rec, to be honest. Uh, and then Brooklyn Nine Nine was also like an offshoot of that. Which uh, Parks and Rec, uh, Ron Swanson is one of the best characters ever. Uh, is he trying to come in? Yeah, that's weird. Shoot, I wonder what happened there. All right. Uh, well, we're going to power on, I guess. Oh, all right. Who has seen Prison Break? Now, I don't watch a whole lot of action. Okay, let's see if he can get in here now. I don't know what's going on. I Let me see here. I just yeah, I just hear clicking. Remove the headphones. Does that make a difference? Oh, I kind of hear you now. How yeah, I. All right. Shoot, wait. Where'd you? I can hear you now. It's all good. Okay. Now. All right. Yeah, I can hear you now. I, I don't know. This has something to do with that. Who? 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 Need? Yeah. How's it going? I really, really need school to start. Uh, I, um, my wife and I are up to here with the boys. We, 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 we had enough for the holidays. We're good to go back to work again. What? When does the school start? Um, first of September for us. Seventh, seventh of September for the boys. So. So that's okay. So you have a two weeks left or something like that. Too long. <laughs> you got to get some reading done. <laughs> that's that's what I thought, and that's what I hoped for the summer holidays. But it just does not happen. It, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Um, my six-year-old, if he's not out there playing football, running around on the beach all day. It's just he's got too much energy. It's difficult. Yeah. Can't anyway. Um, how you doing? How's how's? Have you have you been working? Or? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. 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 We're uh, back to work. Just yeah. What do you got there? Oh, I thought we'd take it easy today. I just, what is? Um, Scottish. Is that a dark? Is that dark? It's a dark beer. 
Yeah, it says, yeah, dark in okay. color, but it's got very little alcohol. Because um, I've got the other option. I've got this French Imperial. It's like seven and a half percent. It's a big bottle. <laughs> and if I open that tonight, I'm going to end up, you know, you know what it's like. So take it easy. I'm going to set that up. Oh, yeah. It's a nice little three, two beer. You're fine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So now we're just pretty much uh, just talking about TV shows, really. I mean, I go wherever we want to go. It doesn't really matter to me. But uh, you tell me what. what <laughs> well, OK, watching? well, do you watch TV? Like, what do you have a favorite television show? Uh, OK, TV. I, I very much stopped watching television. Um we used to watch a lot of series, uh, the missus and I, because they've got the perfect length. After you put the kids to bed, a movie is too long. Yeah. But a 45 minute, 50 minute episode is the perfect length. And if you get really excited about it, you watch two, and then you feel like, ooh, you're being edgy. Yeah. So we used to watch a lot of that. Off late, I haven't really watched, I, I gave up halfway through season two of the boys my wife watched it all i just lost interest um so at the moment i don't know bit of um watching um. the I, I really like the boys the boys is one of the i think in my opinion one of the better tv shows out there right now i cannot wait for season four did you watch the office that's what i was just talking about have you right. seen I, I saw on the thumbnail for today, you had the American version of The Office. Yes, yeah. Whereas I watched the original British version of The Office. And after I watched that, I, I wasn't compelled to watch the remake because, okay. you know. Did you, I, I, mean, I thought the British version was all right. Yeah. Did you like the British version or? It was, for me, it was like really different from anything else I had ever watched because the, the humor was a little bit tricky to, to understand for me, not being British. And the humor was about making this guy a total moron, but in a very poignant way. So it was kind of like, a, it was a comedy drama type thing. Um, so, but, but, but I, yeah, I think I watched it twice, uh, you know, the full thing uh, twice. It was two seasons plus a Christmas special. And, and actually, I really, oh yeah, I really really liked it. Now, uh, I, I'll tell you that the, the the American version of The Office is is pretty different. So if you didn't like the British Office, you might like the American Office, but it depends if that's your type of comedy. Like I I like that documentary style comedy. I guess. I don't really go for, I mean, I I talked about the Big Bang Theory, which is a sitcom kind of thing, but that's kind of like the only, no, I mean, I that, I know, I know, I'm going to get, I get a lot of flack for liking that, but it's like a nice, uh, uh, like I said, it's a nice cup of warm soup on a cold, wintry day. It It's, I don't know why I like it. I do. It might be the only sitcom I liked. I mean, I liked Friends when it was out, but, you know. Uh, but uh, that might be the only. Otherwise, I can't stand any of the sitcoms on right now. Like, uh, uh, I think the only like comedy TV show I'll watch are the ones that are on like the HBO. Like, have you seen Barry? Barry is pretty funny. Um, with um, I can't remember his name. Uh, Bill Hader. No, I I'm very fond. Of, yeah, I'm very fond of that Golden Age of HBO series so when they were just hitting you know jackpot after jackpot Sopranos I've watched in full twice uh, The Wire I've watched back to back twice I thought that was boring <laughs> I thought The Wire was so boring I, I'll, 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 I'll give you that I'll, I'll grant you that because you know I, I came off the high of The Sopranos and then it went into The Wire and I remember watching the first episode and it's like, nothing has happened here, but it's it kind of, you've got to stick with it. And because and, they, 
I think the creator, David Chase, I think he said, he, he said, you know, fuck the casual viewer. I'm here to deliver a fantastic payoff for the viewer that sticks for the whole season or the whole five seasons. Yeah. At the end, everything comes together. And it's, I think it's probably the best TV show ever made. And it kind of went under the radar because it wasn't written to give you a weekly thrill. It was all building up towards an end of season big thing. And yeah, but doesn't that remind you of a, a certain book series we're reading? <laughs> it's building up to something, and now we have to, you know. By the way, I did finish that book, and it was not very good. <laughs> let's, not, let, let's, let's leave the Wheel of Time bashing for some other time. Let's not. Let, let's uh, all right. I have never seen Sopranos. I tried. Why? I don't really like the. I don't like mobster. Like I haven't seen Godfather. Those Godfather movies. I haven't seen those. I don't like. I don't like mobster movies. I'm gonna look out. I'm gonna look out and leave the chat. My my go to when I don't get it anymore because I live in Spain now. But in the UK, every year I was guaranteed to catch the flu one day and stay at home really ill. And yeah. it. it it was my soprano, tri my soprano Godfather trilogy day. Yeah, so I stay home and watch. I love, I love particularly Godfather 2. Love it. All those gangster movies, the books, I've got them all. I've watched them all. I, it, <laughs> to me, it's fantastic. It, it, it just seems like a lot of talking. That's, that's like, like, I don't, it's, yeah, uh, I don't know. It's old, old fashioned cinema. It's old fashioned cinema. Yeah. I, I'm not going to your blockbuster type thing and your, spy thrillers and so on so it's, it's a different a different thing but I, I i should uh i mean i should watch it but i just isn't it like three hours long i just don't want to have the time i just don't want to it but I, I i heard the first two you gotta watch the third one apparently is the one that uh, a lot of people don't really care for it is it is weaker it is weaker um but um because i i like my first memory of it was watching Godfather One with my grandfather. It was his favorite movie, and my dad. And when you get to the famous scene where the guy wakes up in bed covered in yeah. with a horse's head, I watched that as a 11, 12 year old. You know that that kind of thing sticks in your mind for bad. Yeah, I should have been allowed to watch it. And you know that that's definitely been. That's definitely part of pop culture now. Waking up with something in your bed, <laughs> with a uh, some sort of uh, animal carcass in your bed. Yeah, which is it's that was a pretty iconic scene. Yes. Yeah, and I I stumbled on a channel where I kind of I don't know how contrived it is. What they take all the business management, business leadership lessons you can take from the Godfather <laughs> flyer to the and it's like oh. Okay, but it's, I found it, you know, interesting and and funny and how, you know, uh, the character of Michael, played by Al Pacino, could translate into a real sort of business type thing. So, yeah. Um, probably, probably shouldn't follow some of their business tactics, though, but yeah, you could yeah. follow a few. Uh, I, I, I have something to show you, though. Have you, were you any interest in... The Transformers uh, TV show in the eighties. Um, of course. Of oh, I I have. I should really rewatch this. I can't be fra properly framed. I should really. I do really need to watch this. This is yeah. This is the original TV show I got, and I remember. Um, I was I, I, Transformers was. Did you like the movies? Have you seen the movies? Oh, I watched. The first one, but I can't stand Megan Fox. So yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I never understood what's the hype around her, and didn't really like she. And, and I think I watched the first one. May have watched bits of the second one. I'm never really going to the cinematic universe of Transformers. Did you watch the 1986 cartoon movie? Mm, no, I I watched the. The episodes one. Okay, okay. So, all right. Um, my, they didn't. My, okay, maybe I'm just my, got that nostalgia. Maybe I shouldn't rewatch them. <laughs> my, my, 
my oldest my oldest son last year was heavy into transformers so his christmas present was optimus prime and something else something else it was all that and he used to watch they've kind of redone transformers kind of a bit more modern graphics and stuff like that so they've clearly got a stay in power oh oh uh, it- Oh, John, the, the 86 movie was boring. Oh, my childhood. Oh, you've just, you've shot it through the heart. Oh, my goodness. Um, oops, sorry. There's some people knocking on the door over there. Uh, how about, okay, my first love, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. How about, did you, did, did that hit anything with you guys? Um, oh, some of those toys might be worth something, John, uh, from the 80s. Uh, I know that uh, some collectors are looking for those, but yeah, hold on to those. Those are pretty fun. I, but yeah, I, TMNT, TMNT was my first love. Every morning, Saturday morning cartoons. Had to get up to I watch. Think we, are, we, are, we are dating ourselves very clearly here. There's no mistake. Our age bracket, isn't it? it well, ah, I mean, yeah, I suppose. I grew up on the 90s television shows like... Uh, uh, TGIF. What was on T- Family Matters? Like we always watch Family Matters. Was it? Um, I think Full House was on there. Probably Full yeah. House, and there was some other stupid stuff. Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> yeah. Back to so back to T- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hmm. Did you get to play the arcade machine? Yes. Yes. The turtles. Oh, turtles in time. Yeah. Yes. That was great. The, they had the NES. Did you have the? Uh, um, did you have the 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 Nintendo version? No, no, no. I mean the, the actual arcade. Yeah. In the arcade parlors using your yeah. quarters in the US, a hundred pesetas in Spain, and you know with, with mates, it was it was a fantastic game. The the problem with that was I was I was growing up and we were just leaving the arcade. Uh, the arcades were kind of going away, so we didn't have, you know, we, you know, they'd be in some, some, some restaurant. I remember that they had a tur- turtle, uh, a turtle uh, arcade game. But I'm, I, I love the Turtles in Time video game. Like I, I, I remember playing that at a, a place called Grand Slam, and I, I played the heck out of that. And that was like one of the, that closed not so long after because arcades were kind of dying. Um, but I, I mostly remember the NES, the Game Boy. There was a Game Boy version um, turtle game, and I can't remember what it was called. But I played the heck out of that. Uh, had all those action figures, and I wish I would have kept those because those are probably worth a lot of money now. But um, yeah, definitely that was my first love was TMNT, and I do have. I have the uh, I have a collector's edition turtle van with all of the original cartoons in them, uh, and I I don't want to rewatch them because I'm afraid that like John said, they might not hold up like Transformers yeah. did. But bit of um, b- bit of trivia here. I I only found this out I think last year. Is that the accident that causes the mutating agent to fall down the drain? And, and, and mutates the turtles. Uh, it's the same accident that made the devil gain his powers. So the- it's, it's, it's the same the same truck carrying radioactive products that blinds the devil and gives him his superpowers. That product is the one that leaks down the drain and falls on the turtles. Yeah, and, the mutagen. And- <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and then this parallels between the devil and the, and the turtles because their devil fights an organization called the Hand, and the turtles fight the Foot. And oh, so I this, never. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah, Daredevil did get that. Yeah, the hand, yeah, the Hand makes a lot of sense because they're a bunch of ninjas and. That's right. I never thought about that. I wonder how that. Well, I th- I thought like didn't Eastman used to write for Marvel? One of those Laird and or Eastman used to like write for Marvel, so maybe that's something with that. It's had to have been. Yeah, but uh, they, did yeah. did you ever 
Did you ever read the um, those graphic novels? Because the original was a comic book series. Did you ever read it? Apparently, they're pretty violent and not yeah. for kids. <laughs> no, I, I think they were meant to be a bit of a, I'm not going to call it a spoof, but, but, you know, something out there, kind of maybe South Park style. There was this really goofy idea of yeah. turtles and stuff, and, and they ran with it. Um, did you watch the old 90s movies? The first one? The I first one's good. First one I went to the cinema. Again, going back to John's point, don't want to watch it again because i got happy memories of it. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. And did you happen to catch the 2012 remakes? <laughs> Ooh, yes, on Netflix. And... They're not... I, they were, they, I mean, I'm just so much of a fan. I guess I do enjoy them, but they did do them wrong. Um, the CGI just doesn't work. <laughs> I I am a forty-one-year-old bitter man drinking black beer. It's just, it's, you know, I, I'm I'm not the target audience for those movies. Yeah. Oh, I guarantee. Yeah. I. I. It's. Yeah. It's. I don't think I'll ever watch them again. But I. I would like to see if they do. Um, if they do come out with another interpretation, I guess. Apparently, they're on. They're in the works. I would definitely watch them. But um, I don't watch like the new Nickelodeon series. That's just too. Uh, yeah, I don't know. They they nerfed them, if you will. I guess. But it's like I tried. I tried a few months ago. I found on Netflix they had one of the Dragon Ball movies. And I was way into Dragon Ball back in, back in, you know, many, many decades ago. But my son knew it somehow. So, so you know, but, but again, started watching the movie and I could have stomach it, but, you know, you do appreciate how bad things actually are. I, I don't, I never watched Dragon Ball Z. I never got into that art style, I guess. Like that never really interests me. But I, a lot of people love Dragon Ball Z. Um, we basically they used to show it in Spain, not in one of the main national channels, but only on the regional ones. So, so like only the south of Spain had that channel, so you could only watch it there. And for whatever the reason, they never bought the whole load of episodes, so they only had like the first two hundred or whatever it was. So you'd be there, and they, you know they used to just play one episode once a week or once a day or whatever, on a Thursday at six o'clock, you have to be there. And after 200 episodes, you're waiting for the next one and they would send you back to the beginning because they hadn't bought the next batch of episodes. So you knew you had to watch another one or two years worth of episodes for them to continue with the story. And it was really frustrating. They did that a couple of times. So I think I started watching Dragon Ball when I was eight years old and finished when I was 16 or something like that. <laughs> uh, did you, okay. So did you ever watch Power Rangers? I hate it. Yeah. Because, because they were a ripoff of an earlier Japanese series called Bioman. Yep. Which was three guys, not four. And then... Power Rangers came along and I was like, oh, but that's a Bioman ripoff. And then they did the American remake of the Japanese Power Rangers. And um, nah, I... It, it, it was kind of weird how they, they, they basically cut. The American version just filmed them out of costume. Everything when they're in costume is all the Japanese actors, which is kind of weird. And apparently they... Apparently the um, I was I don't remember where I heard this, but the the blue Power Ranger was saying like uh, that first season you would make more at a McDonald's drive-through than what they were getting paid just because they only needed to they they didn't apparently they weren't unionized so it uh, the the studio didn't pay them anything basically. Um, what else do I have? Oh, how about have you ever heard of where'd it go? This is my. Um, have you ever heard of Justified? No. Do you know who Timothy Oliphant is? He was uh, it, um, he I, was I, in Deadwood. Did you, did you see Deadwood? No, no. I, I play. No. What's that? I, I, I claim ignorance here. Uh, okay, okay. Well, 
I want to talk about Justified and see if anyone else has 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 seen this. Like John, like John, if you haven't seen this, I can't. Where's the frame? There it is. Justified. If you're into, like, it's like a neo western type show. Uh, you know, it, it just you know, it's 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 a drama series, I guess. Gunfighting, all that stuff. Like, uh, but I, I really enjoy Timothy Oliphant, but. Did you? How about any of these new Disney Plus shows? Do you watch any of that stuff? No, you're not even into the Mandalorian. I told you, I'm 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 going through a. Oh, of, I see. Yeah. I, <laughs> I the, the the thing is, I'm pissed off with Star Wars, so I I quit with the new trilogy. I I haven't I watched the first two. And after I saw Princess Leia flying through space, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, was... I, I was out. I, I didn't want to. Um... I will. I will say they butchered. I mean, I enjoyed the tri- that last trilogy, but they did screw up a lot. They did not. There was a lot of behind the scenes stuff with the directors and stuff that kind of screwed it up. But if you're into those old fashioned Star Wars movies. I, I think you'd like I think you get a kick out of the Mandalorian. Um I I, I might give it a go. I, I need <laughs> to get myself into the mindset of maybe once school starts again and we're back in the routine. Yes. It's easier to, to <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I like um what was in the night? Like, uh, obviously, like, did you did you watch Walker Texas Ranger? No, not really. But <laughs> again, my grandfather, big fan, big fan. He, big he, fan. He, he loved anything that was to do with fighting, punching, you know, roundhouse kicks to the head. He he was all over that stuff. Um, you know, uh, A Team, the A Team was. Oh, okay, a, yeah. An absolute classic and a must. Um. But um, yeah, I mean, I remember those. You know, MacGyver. Who, who didn't like MacGyver? Uh oh, the old, the old, not the newest one. Yeah, yeah, because they rebooted that. Uh, they rebooted uh, it. It's uh, yeah, I know it, the the old fashioned, the old MacGyver was all right. Yeah, how about okay? How about Fargo? Now, Fargo is a gem. But I don't get it. I don't understand. So explain to me. I've watched the movie. Okay. And great. How did you take a premise that is two hours long and stretch it out over how oh. long it is? Brilliant writing. And it is it's 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 it has really nothing to do with the movie. It has it's just like like a different story, but it's oh. not they're not all. Con- I mean, uh, I guess they are. The TV shows are, or the TV shows are connected, um, but the TV show, uh, the the TV show and the movies. I don't think there's a whole lot of connections there. Um, it's just basically like a like a like a murder uh, mystery type of show, but um, you know, set obviously in northern Minnesota, which I get made fun of all the time because that's where I'm from, and they always think that we sound like that, and I don't think I sound like that, but you know, I guess to each their own. But um, it's it's got a charm to it. Like the last two, the first two seasons, I would watch those. The last two are not very good. Uh, John, I see that you you have only seen the movie. I highly recommend the TV show um, if you're into that type of uh, you know storytelling, I guess. Um, but yeah, it's. It, it's a fun it yeah if you're it really has nothing to do with the sh- the it's the movie it's just it's just the setting i guess if you will um uh how about uh sons of anarchy i i i watched it all watched it with my wife we we liked it but i always felt it lacked credibility like i never bought into these grimy, dirty bikers being computer hackers and and yeah. and doing all this kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, it was a rock. Yeah, I watched it. I enjoyed it. 
but I never fully bought into into the idea. Um, but like, it was dark. It was dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, like I'm not into the whole biker culture, but I did enjoy. Like it had a fantastic story arc. It had some really great story arcs in that, and um, I won't go into like spoilers here, but yeah, it. Uh, I think they wrapped it up very nicely, which. Uh, a, there's a lot of series that can't wrap up series, aka like Game of Thrones. I don't think they wrapped it up very well. I find that with any TV shows and fantasy literature, they are great at setting the premise, building the world and the characters, just not knowing what to do with them or how to get them from point A to point B, isn't it? And they never know when to stop. Uh, point in case, prison break. Oh, yes. How, yes. How fantastic, how truly amazing was season one of prison break? The, the first season of prison break, I will like. I will admit, like I don't watch a whole lot of um, uh, thrillers on like network television just because they can't get away with a lot of stuff. Pri prison break is the exception to that rule. The first season of prison break was fantastic was TV, like the suspense. Uh, but then, yeah, once they were out, I didn't, I don't think I finished. I think I watched, I watched all of, I, I watched through season three and then I think I watched part of, I didn't even finish it. It was, it, was, it just was going nowhere. But yeah. I, yeah, I agree. But I think if you want to make a TV show now, you need to bring it to the studio and you need to have like a beginning, middle and end there. There should be none of this open end. like walking dead should have ended a while ago. Um, there shouldn't this, this, this money grabbing stuff. Like this is what I like about um, like the new Lord of the Rings series that's coming on Amazon. It's just five seasons. They have it all planned out. It's five seasons. It's going to be done. And so therefore you're not like, you're not doing like the game of Thrones thing or the prison break where you're trying to grasp at what you should do next. And you're being very reactionary, I guess. I don't know. To be fair to game of Thrones, I think the problem there was that it wasn't three more seasons long because the ending was really rushed and the character arcs had to be, you know, the, the, the madness of um, whatever her name is now, uh, Daenerys. Daenerys. Yeah, it's just it was incredible. Uh, so if they had taken a bit longer, it would have been alright. Yes, uh, it, it's hard to think of TV shows that ended well and when they should. Um, but like I said, you didn't like about The Wire did you know five seasons, each one focusing on a different aspect of policing in Baltimore. So every season was very fresh relative to the previous one. And it concentrated on different. Yeah. I, I'll give you that. Like I did like how, you know, one season was uh, the Harbor season. One of them was the politic, the, the politics of Baltimore. Um, I'll give you that. It had, I, I should, it was just, to me, it was just not, it was just not a lot of stuff going. Like there was a lot of stuff going on. It was just so long. I just I, like I don't know. Maybe I just wasn't in the mood. I thought when I picked up the wire, I thought it was going to be like uh, cuz I just got done watching Justified. And Justified is like, you know, the it's like gunfights and uh, awesome character development, which the wire has the character development. They just don't have that action that I enjoy. No, it's it's very character driven. Yeah. And it, and it's very much interaction. Yeah. Um but it's, it's, it's to get lost in the acting because, you know, uh, with, particularly with all the drug dealers in the show, like I was thinking that they had really taken them from the streets and putting them in the show. I couldn't wrap my head around the fact yeah. that this guy yeah. was acting. But, you know, um, just that. Um, oh, let's go back to an old classic then. Okay. X-Files. <laughs> I okay, that I've been meaning because it's on Netflix. I think I've been I've watched a few here and there episodes, um, 
and I remember being scared. I, I like because I was younger when that came out. I, I particularly remember one episode where this thing came crawling underneath a bathroom stall. It was like a uh, like a little child with like half legs, and it was like crawling under, the, and that scared the heck out of me. And I never really. I have to. I need to watch X Files, but it's. It, but I just have to have find that time. But I. I have seen a few episodes. Um, it's right out, down my alley with things I want to see. I guess. <laughs> it's obviously it looks a little bit dated now. The first yes. Seasons are fantastic, and then halfway through season five or six, they start doing some stupid things and. And the quality just drops down big time. And then it picks up again a little bit towards the end. And in, in my house, when I was at school, it was Monday Monday evening, was X-Files on telly, 10 o'clock. And, you know, the whole family would be religiously sitting there making sure we got the beginning because that's where the whole action for the whole episode was set up. So yeah. you, you weren't allowed to be late for the first five minutes. Did uh what what did that go for? Did that go for twelve seasons? Yeah, I can't. It went for twelve. I think the original run was ten or eleven seasons, and then kind of like ten years later, they did a pick up wrap up thing, a mini. Oh, okay. So they did like Prison Break because didn't Prison Break come out with like a movie after or something like that after just uh, to like, yeah. um. So speaking of like alien, have you seen Falling Skies? Do you know what Falling Skies is? No, go on. So Falling Skies is uh, Steven Spielberg's take on an alien invasion for, on TNT. So all the aliens make all the vol- vol- the velociraptor sounds. It's really weird to hear like that that scream coming from like another thing that's not a velociraptor. So it went for five seasons, and again, it, it suffered from that. It should have been over in four. They wanted to push it for a fifth. I think what happened was they got canceled. TNT canceled it, and they decided to work. So, hey, we have one more season. Can we just wrap it up here? And they kind of, they again, they rushed it. So the first four are amazing. But, yeah, it's basically um, um, aliens come to Earth. It's, just, it's like an alien invasion TV show, and it's a war between uh, an alien race, the humans, and another alien race comes in. It's the like I said, the first four. It does again. It suffers from. It wraps up way too. It it's just they rushed the ending. It could have been great, but I I still say like I said with Game of Thrones is the journey is worth the uh the the price of admission I guess if you will, but I highly recommend uh, Falling Skies. It's kind of like it's got that if you ever seen like Sci Fi Channel graphics, it's got those type of graphics. So even though it's Spielberg. But you could tell that they they didn't put a whole lot of money in it. They put money into it, but it's got some dumb graphics in it. But it's great. I can't. The thing is, even as a kid, I cannot stand poor production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, which is why I never. I, something that would have been right up my street, but Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I couldn't get into it because the. The fight scenes were poorly choreographed. Clearly, Sarah Michelle Gellar wasn't a fighter. The monsters weren't really that well brought to life. Um, there was another show like Hercules or something like that, another TV show. Yes, yes. Tina, Princess Warrior and all that stuff. Isn't that all on that CW channel? CW just, oh. I couldn't get into them because, like I said, the production, just I, I, it's like, oh, you're wearing a costume. You're just a dude or a chick in a costume. I, I didn't believe that they were who they were meant to be. I feel the same about everyone tells me to watch Arrow. Um, but again, it's just too, it's the production value is just not there I for me. Watched, I managed to watch the first four or five seasons of Arrow. Okay. And it was all right. It, it was all right. The problem was that then they started doing crossovers with all the other superhero shows that they had going. Yeah, that, yeah. That were not available. So I didn't have access to The Flash. 
I didn't have access to whatever else it was. And actually, I didn't have time to watch all of those. I started watching Arrow, and it was good. But the first one they did on that CW universe was uh, John Constantine, Hellblazer. But that only lasted one season. And then the guy that played Constantine made a couple of cameos in Arrow. Yeah. And again, if you're going to do Constantine, Hellblazer, demons, weird voodoo stuff, and all that kind of, all that sort of stuff, you've got to have a really good production because otherwise it's a little bit lame. Yeah, and that's that was just a turn. Like I, I, I don't know. I just I, I've heard it's fantastic, but it's just not. Uh, can I interest? You? How about uh, now we're going to change to the more high production? Have you seen Spartacus? No, I'm assuming you're not talking about the the Kirk Douglas movie from the sixties. Uh, no, it's a t. Well, it's basis on that, I guess. It's a TV show uh, uh, on Stars. I think I think it was on Stars, but it was like um, it was like Gladiator. Have you ever seen Gladiator with yeah. Russell Crowe? It was Gladiator, but uh, it was more of that three hundred style. Um, style if you were art style a little bit 300 ish but the first season like it's a it, i guess it's not really a tv show it's a mini series is what they call it because okay. uh it went for like you only had there's four there's four of them but you only have to watch the one the one is self-contained what was sad is um the guy who plays spartacus this australian actor um he got cancer and died after the first season so they couldn't they that really threw like if your main character yeah. and they did a they did a really good job on finding somebody who kind of looks just like the guy but there was something about his mannerism and stuff that really made it like it it got so screwed up they had to do an origin story on another character in the second season because that threw such a wrench into it and you didn't get that flow because you know obviously they have an opening for the next few seasons after that first season, but you couldn't get that flow because of the medical issues and stuff like that. And unfortunately right. he did pass away. But if you ever watched the first uh, season, if you will, it was absolutely, it, it was great. Um, uh, you know, if you're in like, if you can handle, there's a lot of blood and guts and stuff, as you can imagine what a, a gladiator type uh, TV show would be. If, because, the, the one that, for me, uh, even though they killed off the main character kind of halfway through, but sustained um, a, a really, really good level was um, Vikings. Okay, yes. So if you it, it, I watched the first season. Hey, by the way, hello, Timmy. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, what is, what, what's wrong with Timmy these days? He, he, he appeared in the last live stream. And then what's going on? This is it. Do you have a new channel here? Is this what I should subscribe to this when I get a chance here? <laughs> but yeah, Vikings. Um, I did watch the first um season. Uh, it was all right. I think I was more because that was History Channel, and for some reason, I don't know. I was expecting more because I just got done with Game of Thrones when I started that, so right. I think I was in the wrong mindset. But um. Um, I did watch the first. I like that actor, it, it, and they did a pretty dang good job on, I guess, portraying what the Vikings are and stuff. They're uh, they're a pretty yeah. savage group I of mean, people. We we just put it on because I think probably on the back of finishing Game of Thrones or something like that. Opening scene: someone's head is being chopped off and this blood squirts. Yeah. Out. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm, but it I'm never sorry. really went back. It, it, I mean, it did go back there, but it just, again, there was a lot of character development, which is great, but I just didn't think there was enough, uh, you know, in between well, that. Well, being ever so slightly, I uh, don't know what's the word, but the main actress, Catherine Winnick, I think was an absolutely beautiful woman. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was. Uh, I could. It made the show appealing. Did, did you watch Breaking Bad? Yeah, 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 yeah. What did oh. you think of Break? Like, 
like I, I was talking to that before you came on, like you have to be in the mindset. It's got great character arcs, but it's not a happy TV. It's not a, there's no one really to root for, in my opinion. No, this is what, like, I, I liked it. I thought, I, I thought the last season was weird when the neo Nazis. Uh, the, the, it's a yeah. gift of, of the paradigm, by the way. But yeah, my pa- I recommended it to my parents, and they started watching it. But my mum hated it because, like you said, like he's an evil guy. Like she didn't. She didn't want to root for a bad guy. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I thought it was great television. Um, the joke always having been that that could never happen in Europe because we got social security and if he had cancer, he would have got his Oh, and yeah. That would, and that would have been it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You guys got it so much. You guys, oh, darn it. The, the <laughs> health care and all that fun stuff over there. Yeah. Uh, the reason I bring up the Breaking Bad is if you like that, have you ever heard of the show called Ozark on Netflix with Jason Bateman? Yes. That is, if you like Breaking Bad, you're going to love Ozark, whoever is listening. We, yeah, we, we, are, we are up to date. I, I just don't know when the next season. Is I, think they're, I think they were taking a two year break or something. And then COVID hit and it just kind of screwed up everything. Um, I'm thinking next year sometime, hopefully October. I think that's when they usually come out, but, yeah. and that, then this is going to be it too. So Ozark will end after this. So that's kind of cool. All right. So they, they do sound like they have a, uh, an ending in plan, but, um, I don't know if we can really talk too much about it because I don't know who, cause that's still fairly new. So I don't want to spoil anything, but yeah. it, all, all I can say is if you like breaking bad, I think you'll like, it's kind of got, it's got the same premise, you know? Yeah. Although it's got that weird Southern States, um, redneck hillbilly. Yeah. Sort of dark thing around it that, that, um, but there are, unlike Breaking Bad, in my opinion, is there are characters that you actually care about and you want them to succeed. In my opinion, there's a few. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. again, they a lot of there's a lot of bad guys. They're all kind of bad. Um, we, we did enjoy we did enjoy Ozark for sure. Have, have you ever watched it? Well, go ahead. No, no, no. Tell me, tell me. Have you ever watched a show called The Last Ship? No. So, uh, The Last Ship was based on a novel. Uh, basically, it's this ship that's it's the it's it's this battleship up in the Antarctica, up in Antarctica, and they're drilling up there, and they hit an organism because it froze, called the Red Flu, and they were drilling up in Antarctica looking for oil or something. And they release this contagion, kind of like how we're in now. <laughs> but uh, and it releases this flu-like this flu-like virus, and it just decimates the population. So it's basically like a post-apocalyptic. But there is this ship that was out in the Arctic somewhere that did not get exposed to this. So they're coming back to the mainland. They're realizing like. Where the heck is everybody? We're like the last. And then, of course, you have you have people who are immune who set up like other governments and stuff like that. You know, it's got that post-apocalyptic vibe uh, or, or, you know, during the apocalypse vibe. So it's just about this crew on this Navy ship just going around the world um, fig- trying to figure out what the heck happened. I think it went for I believe it went for four seasons. Um, the first three, again, I think it, it got canceled by TNT. TNT canceled a lot of stuff and they had to rush that last season. So they kind of, it kind of dropped the ball, but you know, it's, you know, it's all right. Yeah. I mean, this actually, I think TV shows of late, the, the, the general quality has, has gone up relative to what we had in the eighties and the nineties. Although, I was very fond of the very clean cut murder mysteries of the of the eighties and nineties. So, okay. uh, murder she wrote. Never saw that. Oh, and um, diagnosis murder. I know what that is. Yeah, I never watched those. I 
I love them. I love them. Like, you know, every episode, every episode, someone will get murdered and there wasn't a single drop of blood on camera for the whole length of the show because it was meant to be screened during prime time to a oh. to all audiences. <laughs> So they see that's the thing. That's why I never watched any of those because they couldn't get away with stuff. Yeah, but it was the kind of thing that, like, my grandparents and me could watch together, and we would all be discussing who done it, and you know, oh, what do you think now? Oh, so you can think? kind of you you play along with the, right. the TV show, right. right? But you know, they had to make a murder mystery for twelve year olds. As well as appealed to seventy, um, and then, so like murder, she wrote. Uh, she was this kind of Agatha Christie, you know, crime thriller writer who lived in a small uh, village town, somewhere I think somewhere in the east coast of the U.S. And um, Covered Cove, it was called. <laughs> and I remember reading an article where he must have had the highest percentage of murders per population <laughs> in the whole of the US and here being a real town. Like but yeah, it was I, I enjoyed those. Did, how okay. How did you see True Detective? Yes, both seasons. The the first season. The, I don't think the the next seasons aren't very good, but that first season was was one, some of the best television I've ever seen. It was it was dark and yeah. The, there were two things going there. One is to see an actor of the caliber of Matthew McConaughey doing TV. Yeah. That was interesting. And then all the references to the to the you know WH Chambers, the King in Yellow and, and, and all that sort of gothic horror stories thing. So it was Yeah, it was I, weird. Uh, that's one I probably would like to watch again. Yeah, I would definitely watch the first season again. Yeah, the second two, the last, the last two are, the, especially the second one, wasn't that good. Um, no, the, the quality of the acting wasn't the same, and the the thing is, in, in the first season, you had that weird undertone to whether I don't know, there was something weird about the two characters, Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson, isn't it? Like. Had they actually done it? What, what was wrong with them? There was something very dark um, about them. It, it was a fantastic show, yeah, for sure. Um, did you ever watch uh, The Witcher on Netflix? Did you ever get the chance to see that? No, it's, is that not your cup of tea? <laughs> oh, ooh. how about Hunters on Amazon? I'm kind of going through this list now, just trying to figure out. Hunters? No, again, is that a similar thing? Hunt, Hunters is um, uh, kind of based on a true story, but it's more fantasized true story. Uh, in the 1970s, um, a bunch of um, Jewish operatives got together to hunt down Nazis that you know escaped to you know they went to America. Most of them came. A lot of a lot of them came to America. In Brazil, or yeah. Uh, or or yeah, in Brazil, and it was just these. Uh, these Nazi hunters living in New York in the, I believe it took place in the seventies, just hunting down these uh, former Nazis who have set up their lives here. And it's just that stylized kind of like Quentin Tarantino esque violence, sort of if you're into that kind of thing. And, but yeah, it's pretty good. It's Al Pacino uh, and um, some really? other like, yeah, Al Pacino played like a head honcho. He's like the head uh, uh, hunter, but uh it's on Amazon Prime. It's I think it's it's got to be coming back for another season. I, two weeks time. Once the kids are back at school, I, th I think I'm gonna have to get back into my TV shows. I, I think mm. um, I have you know, It's been months since. since well, I'm since glad that there's some inspiration coming. <laughs> the thing, the thing is, and I, I think it's a it's a female thing, but my wife has found these gold mine of true crime channels on YouTube. So all she watches now is all these people, you know, telling the story of true crimes whenever, whatever happened. And she's very much addicted and hooked on to that. So she's okay to not watch anything on television. 
because she's got all these true crime things going on. Oh yeah, you can find like all these podcasts they have now. That's right. I mean, uh, but yeah, true crime is it. It's very it's fascinating. I will say, like, but for some reason, I don't like to read about true crime. I'll watch a lot of things, like a lot. Like Netflix does a really good job with their documentaries. Have you ever seen like Evil Genius or? Um, uh, making a murder type stuff like right, yeah. it's fascinating it but but the thing is i found i find these days for documentaries youtube is the place to go you yeah have, the, the, there is a wealth of fun made documentaries that you cannot get anywhere else um particularly over the last couple of years i've been really getting into heavyweight boxing like you know following the history and watching it and there's a lot of material on youtube of really good quality but there is nothing anywhere else did you ever watch that um andre the giant documentary no that's on no. it's it's on youtube it's on hbo but it's i think you can stream it for free on youtube i'll i'll, I'll give that a check yeah 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 but yeah that that's that's a pretty that was a pretty well done documentary, pretty sad documentary too. If you if yeah. you know the story of Andre the Giant, but um, yeah, I don't like. I may have watched something because something rings a bell. Because I, now that you mention it, I, yeah, I know his story from France, moved to the U.S. and like how much beer he used to drink. So I must have watched something at some point. But yeah. Way, there's a lot of urban legends, stuff like that, or not urban. I mean, they were legends of what he, you know, he like hit, like, yeah, he would down like it was like a 24 pack in an hour, something yeah, like yeah. that. Or, or maybe it's because I watch the, I really recommend it. The, in the Joe Rogan experience, when he interviewed Jake the Snake, I think last year. Or okay. Two years ago. So I think there was a, a, a during part of the conversation. Jake the Snake was talking about Andrew the Giant, uh, stuff like that. So m maybe I'm mixing things, but yeah, for sure. Yeah, th those uh, you go down a rabbit hole with a bunch of those type of wrestling. It's a fascinating uh, entertainment. To what people like, it's kind of cool how how what the behind the scenes on those wrestlings would be. Uh, like if you ever listen to like Hulk, Hogan, how they how they plan all this stuff? It's a lot of improv stuff, but it is they are still following? You go down that rabbit hole on 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 wrestling uh, figures and stuff like that, and all the interviews and who they actually hated and stuff like that is pretty cool. I I I watched wrestling. I think during its golden during its golden years when. You know, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Randy Savage, Matthew, yeah, and all the stuff. Um, so I think that, uh, you know, when Bret Hitman Hart was champion, for, well, anyway, that period of time, I watched every, used to be on Saturday mornings or Saturday midday in Spain. Mm. We used to get it. And then, yeah, like these guys, the amount of surgeries, the amount of pain they go through, the, the ridiculous strain they put on the bodies is yeah. incredible. Uh, so chapel weight i don't I, I just looked this up i'm not sure what this is really what was that oh it's all it's an american horror story or a horror uh series all right netflix i'll have to look into that magic words american horror story Oh yes, yes, America. Okay, okay. I want to watch those. I think I watched the. I watched the first. Is the first season about haunted house? I watched the first season, but I have been. Those have been on my radar. I gotta watch those. For some reason, I have not. For some reason. Okay, I think we, we've we've watched those. The the only thing that bothers me is there's the same recurring cast playing different yeah. roles every season, but then. Towards the last, on the last season, some of them play the same character they played back in season one or two. It, it gets a bit weird. Okay. But anyway, yeah, it's it's an interesting. Overall, it's worth a watch. 
Yeah, yeah. What are they on? Are they on seven now? Is that it? Seven or eight? I think. That- Something like that, yeah. Did Did you watch uh, Haunting on Hill House on Netflix? Haunting on Hill House. Is that what that's called? Is it was a, uh, yeah. Is that the book? Is that the novel? Is I think it's based on the book, but it came out on Netflix last year, and it was a huge. Everyone loved it. Uh, oh, is that what it is? Okay, so it looks like uh, it's oh Jerusalem's lot. That's what the chapel wait's going to be. So that that'll be. That's going to be cool. Okay, I'll look forward to that. I did not know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so the haunting at Hill House, is, is it was a phenomenon uh, last October. Everyone watched it. It's actually really good. I'm not much of a horror person, but I really liked that, that, that series. It's just like a mini series, I think. I don't know. Cause the book, I, I got the book hoping that it would be everything that I – you know, that was going to be scared to turn the light off in bed. And then he was like, oh, really? Was, was that was that all? So, uh, yeah. I no. Don't feel Maybe. Uh, but, I, I mean, again, like, I never got scared reading a book, though. That's the thing. Like, I'll get scared watching the TV shows. I, I've got scared reading books. You got scared reading books? Okay. <laughs> but, but, but we had this conversation before. To me, horror... In, in print to really have that effect it needs to be the short tail yeah you, okay you, you cannot scare me for 400 pages you can scare me for 20 because you know there's that twist at the end there there's that feeling of unease but you cannot maintain that tension yeah. for 400 pages it's just impossible that's why I, I, I prefer reading horror in in short tell format. Just, did, all right. So, so speaking of like Stephen King, did you, has anyone seen that? What's that? T- measure, um, I've never seen it. I think it's on Hulu. It's called, uh, it's the Stephen King universe sort of horror series. Is it called? Um, Is that Nightmares and Dreamscapes or something like that? No, it's like a new, what oh. the heck is it called? Um, oh, if only we had a computer with us right here. Uh, it's on Hulu. I think it's called um, God darn it. So... No, I had to get rid of Hulu because my wife kept on watching Real Housewives or whatever. <laughs> Castle Rock. Yeah, Real Housewives. Nah, 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 nah. We don't have to talk about any of that garbage. <laughs> all that Jersey Shore crap. Reality TV. Castle Rock. That's what it's called. Did you ever seen that? Apparently it's like Stephen King's like world condense and do like a sort of a TV show type thing. I haven't seen it yet. Okay, sorry. There it is. Thank you, Timmy. Let's digress here. You know how you got Jersey Shaw in the US? Yeah. I, I don't know where he originated, where the, the original one was in the UK, because they got Jordy Shaw over there, which is based in Newcastle in the UK. Okay. I don't know which one came first. But in Spain we have Gandia Shore, which is the town where we live. So they, they've taken that idea of Jersey Shore and done it here, literally two miles from where we are on the beach. It is the town. Uh, so that's where the basis comes from. Oh, that's kind of cool, but... <laughs> yeah, it's a weird claim of fame, actually. That, that really... <laughs> Shouldn't have mentioned that. Um, so you, you have Jersey Shore and I have Fargo to hang my hat on. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it, yeah, um um Did you ever watch that Under the Dome by Stephen King? No, because I didn't like the premise. Um I, I don't know, so maybe with a lot of things I should just take the plunge and and you know and, and get invested, but um yeah, the only thing is it's on network television, so they have to. It's you know they it's got it's got to be like PG style yeah. stuff, so they can't really get into all much stuff because the book the book hits hard and you know it's graphic and stuff like that. And it's a pretty cool book, but that's yeah. If that's why uh, that's why I, I um the HBO came out with um is it called the um the Stranger I believe, and that was based on the Stephen Cook book, and I got really excited for that one and it. It was not that good. I think it was, it was called The Stranger, I believe. 
Right, 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 right. But we do. We are living in like the golden age of television, in my opinion. Like there is so much stuff that's coming that I'm so excited for, and they're actually getting because TV shows back in the 80s and 90s they didn't get the production level of what a movie would get, and I felt like now that we can do that, like I'm. I know you're not looking forward to it, but I am looking forward to the Wheel of Time TV show just to see what they do with it and the new Game of Thrones series that's going to come out and definitely the Lord of the Rings series that's coming out because they have the money to put into these things to make it cinematic and make it uh, make them just awesome. Like, okay, I'm okay with the Wheel of Time TV show. If you want to do that, do that. I might... I can't see myself watching it, but it's fine. Um, you want to do what's the other one? You, the, you know, the other, the Game of Thrones spin-offs, whatever. Yeah, go go for it. The thing I resent about the Lord of the Rings one is that it's not an adaptation of anything. It's using that Lord of the Rings name. Okay. Yeah. Money. Like that, the whole point of my video is that it doesn't come from a place of appreciation for the material. It's just, you know, let's make money. But but can you also, I mean, oops, uh, can you also, they are paying appreciation to, because they love that world. You've got all the people who made Lord of the Rings great working on Lord of the Rings TV show. So you could tell they're definitely fanboys and they definitely are going to like, they're going to, I no, think they'll, no, I think they'll show appreciation. They, they want to go HBO on it. They want to show TT. There's no TT in Lord of the Rings. There's are we? No are we? Hundred? Are we sure that's gonna? Are we sure that they're? I what? thought they were gonna. Are they gonna do that? I don't know. When I when I did the video, I'm pretty certain I should a screenshot of of the producer saying that kind of stuff. I'm sure it's on my video somewhere. That you know they they wanna they want it to be Game of Thrones for Amazon Prime. And I thought that's what Wheel of Time was going to be. Wheel of Time was supposed to – that. I, I will agree. That's that's going to be a little um, weird if they if they shoot if they if they go with the graphic stuff. Like even the with, like with violence, it would be a little weird. You watched? Have you finished reading Lord of the Rings? No. <laughs> right, but but you watched the movies, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. So you imagine th those movies set you up in a in a world and in a setting, and all of a sudden they're going to take you to a very different one, because w what I'm assuming is consistent about the Mandalorian and the Star Wars movies is that the universe is consistent. The the, the TV shows are in eighteen and over, and the movies are thirteen plus, isn't it? So there's a consistent yeah. tone to the yeah. whole thing universe. Here you're going to go from Lord of the Rings seven yeah. or 12, whatever it was to full frontal and, and i now yeah i i see your point there now that would be a letdown i think they should they should stick with that pg-13 just kind of how they did the movies so yeah. Yeah. I, all right i see your, i see your point i see your point i'm still excited for it i i want it because they're putting so much it, it can't be bad it can't be bad although you say that a lot we say that a lot about a lot of things oh, and yeah. there's a lot of i am setting myself up for a, a very a, a hard fall from grace if that is not the case but i have faith that they are going to do lord of the rings justice it's just because they they see yeah you got to stay positive uh, I'll, I'll put that I'm comment sorry. up there you have to stay positive thank you you do uh, <laughs> you, uh, it's. I I have faith because it is the people who worked on the movies that are they're working on the TV show, uh, and that's that's the faith I have. You you have the people who made that trilogy what it was today and how magical and awesome it was, and they're gonna come I do it right. Really. So I. Are Frank Walsh and Philip Aboyance involved in the new TV show? What's that? The writers for the trilogy Lord of the Rings. Uh -huh. so Peter, Jackson, Peter Jackson, Frank Walsh, and Philip Aboyance, are they they're the ones that adapted the books into the script? Okay. 
I'm assuming they're not involved in the TV show. I, I did. I thought I did hear Peter Jackson was involved. Really? Yeah. I could have sworn I heard that. And that's what made me excited. I'm doing a quick. Yeah. Go, yeah. Yeah. Let's let's. Uh, Let's make sure we're right. But I, I thought it, I thought it was the entire like a, a good majority of the crew coming in to make this uh, series. There's an anime movie apparently in the works. A what? A movie? An anime movie for Lord of the Rings. Oh, OK. We, we yeah, I think that. I heard that, too. I probably won't watch that. I don't know. I can't find anything. Maybe. Maybe they're keeping under wraps. They, yeah. I mean, they haven't really released a trailer for Wheel of Time yet, and we're two months away from that. So. Well, yeah. They close. they want they want to keep everything under wraps. I think. Yeah, it's very secretive, isn't it? And I don't even know when Lord of the Rings is coming out. I think it's twenty twenty two. But I do know it's going to be five seasons or five five seasons, and then uh, then they they're they're done. I really don't know what it's about. I think I think it takes place. Um, what is it? Five thousand years before the events, or five hundred thousand years before the events? Something like that. Something like that. A few thousand years before. So, will you at least try it? Will you will you try it? Okay. Uh, issues. The way, because we've been spoiled with, with this whole new way of consuming TV shows, I, I don't know if I can be bothered to wait between seasons. I might wait until okay until it's done to watch it. I don't know. Just to blow it through, yeah. I it, it seems so backwards now to watch an episode a week and then wait nine months. For the next series and stuff like that. I almost wish. I know it's not possible. I almost wish they released the whole thing. In one go. Like here you go. The five seasons. It's all done. Oh Ooh, boy. Okay. But, but, but see here's the fun part of doing the weekly thing. Is now kind of like. I've never experienced this. The, this last season of Game of Thrones. Was the first time I ever experienced like a weekly. Um tv show i always used to wait till they all came out bought the tv show watched them all then and it was the fun of the of getting together with people at work and like hey did you watch that last episode what do you think is going to happen where do you think this is going to go there is some fun about like your guy you know at least for that week i don't like waiting that year i know what you're saying there it sucks the weekly thing is kind of cool just because you do get to hypothesize with your buddies to say like uh where do you think this is going yeah, no, no, I I understand. And now as well, yeah, because I had that with the last season of Game of Thrones, but also there's so much more, the fandom is so much bigger with so much um, means, you know, like so many YouTube channels dissecting, explaining, uh, yeah, giving opinions. So, so yeah, it's, it's, it's a completely different thing. No, I get that. I, I I'm yeah. Maybe I'm too jaded from the long holidays. <laughs> Did you? Are you into the Marvel series or anything like that? Did you get into those? I I did watch when the whole cinematic universe exploded. I watched the Daredevil one. I thought was fantastic. Okay. Um. Did you watch the Punisher series? No. Okay. Uh, no. But the Punisher, because I've been recommended a lot, the Garth Ennis, oh. the character, yeah, yeah, fantastic. Because it's not, it's not what you think it is. He 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 does his thing on it, isn't it? So, well, you, you've read the Preacher series, and it's just like that Preacher series, but it's it's his take on the Punishers, and it, it's I think it's five issues, I believe. Oh wait. No, well, like kind of, five, like like volumes, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five volumes. I, I remember I rented those like a couple, like last year, and I read them all. But if you like the preacher stuff, if you like the boys, um, I've got except for the boys. I've okay. 
read everything Garth Ennis has written. So I would highly recommend the the his take on Punisher. It's it because Preacher to me is his best work, but um, Punisher is like second. Right. But and and he does, and it's not like uh, you know how some 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 of these graphic novels include other heroes. This is not like that. This is really nothing. This is if you're if you take if you if you don't take Frank Castle like. You know, what I'm trying to say like, there's no other, there's no daredevil in this series. There's no yeah. Um, yeah. other it's, heroes. It's just focusing on the Punisher. It's a bit like what Edward Baker did with their uh, with their Gotham Central. It was just yeah. the police department trying to deal with crime, and Batman barely makes an appearance uh, throughout the series. Um, it, you know, in actual fact, the police are annoyed at him because he gets in the way. He's just, yeah, like a, a greedy, it's a yeah. more down to earth, yeah, you know, is. and which I like. But did you watch any of like those Marvel series that just came out? Like, um, you know, they're coming out. You, you have no interest in watching any of those? I, I checked out, I like the traditional movies, so the traditional character movies, so the Iron Man, I watched the Avengers. I watched, but then I never really was into Guardians of the Galaxy, so I missed, I missed those. Oh, yeah, and then by the, I haven't watched the last two, Endgame. Um, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, okay, I will say with, with Guardians, me too. Like, I didn't know what the hell Guardians of the Galaxy was, but those two, those might be one of my favorite uh, Marvel movies. Like, it's so out there, but it's so much fun. It's like a shut your brain off and watch it. But if you haven't seen like if you, you haven't seen Endgame or Infinity War, like oh, yeah. oh. I've got <laughs> I've got um I've got Disney Plus, so I could you, you could know, yes because I didn't watch Captain Marvel either. So around Civil War, maybe that's when I stopped watching. Oh, I envy you then. Then you can watch all this stuff without, you know, because I already know what happens. Now you get to go and go down this journey. I highly recommend. It's fan they're fantastic movies. It, not just for like comic book nerds either. They're fantastic movies for everybody. So, so where are they going? With, surely it's, it's going to be another case of it's done. The MCU, it's, it's done. What? Where are they going that's, now? Oh, see, that's I can't really talk to you about that because I don't want to spoil Endgame and all that stuff. But they're they have they have their I, threads. I know, I know they got a plan. I know they got a plan. But when I saw the characters that they had lined up for the you know phase four, whatever it's called, are you excited about those characters? Yes, yes, oh, yes. Okay. The Eternals, Shang Chi, Spider Man's still around. I love Spider Man. Okay. And then the way that that the, the, they're going with like Captain America, that's going to be cool. I'm I am excited. Like I have faith in Kevin Feige to do the right thing. Um, oh, hey, is it, how's it going, Charles? <laughs> uh, uh, just talking about some Marvel stuff right now. But I do have faith in Kevin Feige to steer that ship in the right direction um yeah yeah i like i i really think you should try it like uh when you have any of these off nights or whatnot when you have some free time instead of reading wheel of time go <laughs> pop in go pop in a marvel movie and uh you know definitely you, you should definitely watch uh the guardians and then um the end game and infinity war and yeah. then you can jump in you'll get most of the uh the gist of it yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think it's only like yeah. I'm missing the Guardians. I'm missing Thor three, maybe. And oh, that that's the best one. That might be the best Marvel movie is Thor Ragnarok. In my opinion, I think Thor Ragnarok. It's the funniest. It's the best story. Right. You're you're missing all the good ones. I don't you, know. You... <laughs> like I said, all of a sudden, I lost. I lost my. I lost my enthusiasm. I lost my, you know, I, I, I I'm not excited about that stuff anymore. I don't know why. Ah, oh. <laughs> maybe maybe it's the kids and the wife. I don't know. 
well, you should take a you will take a month off of reading Wheel of Time so you can just get caught up on the, all the Marvel stuff. Uh, you see, we were talking <laughs> about that, but I was looking this morning or yesterday. The next book is only five hundred pages or so. Yeah, yeah, I got it right here. It's yeah, it's and but that, take, that takes you over the halfway line, isn't it? That's book okay. eight. Like the only the thing is, is uh, you haven't finished book seven yet. It's it's not. It's so boring. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, know. we we are we are gonna crack on, and uh, I'm excited to finish it just to see what what happens. But yeah, you should definitely take that month off and uh, just get up all caught up in MCU. I don't think you'll. I don't think you'll regret it. <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's just getting myself into the, into the first yeah. I, I wish, I wish my son could actually sit down and watch a movie. I tried yesterday and today to get him to watch Pirates of the Caribbean. I mean, who yeah. does Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Yes. Oh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't. He just, he wouldn't. Is he just not, how old is he? Six. Okay, so he's not, does he like that does he like the superheroes and that stuff? Maybe not yet, but uh, I think what the only movie I could get him relatively interested in was the Transformers spin off, going back to the earlier conversation, mm -hmm. the one they did about Bumblebee. Yes, yes, because he loved Bumblebee and Bumblebee was there, but he was only interested in the scenes with where Bumblebee. Bumblebee was screen so it's like oh, i can't that that's true if you can't get him to sit through pirates because pirates has all that fantastic like cinema stuff that that's kind of rough yeah yeah so you might have to wait till he's a little bit older then yeah. maybe he'll get into the the marvel stuff and the little the little one i can get to sit down but he will only sit down so long as the bucket of popcorn is full once it gets to the end <laughs> Then it is, it's chaos all over. So, yeah. Oh, geez. I know. Wow. Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, oh, that, that would cut into a lot of my uh, my reading time, if you will, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, my, I mean, even my, my wife today, I mean, we were both, I, I took him out of the house in the morning, but she was like, oh, we only have, have one daughter just to compensate, you know, but no, we've got two boisterous boys and. It's it's taxing. Anyway, enough of that. I don't know. Um, I think I might check out in the next. All uh, right. Uh, well, that was that was great. Yes. Arranging these transatlantic conferences with the massive time difference is a little bit complicated for me. Yeah, we'll have to try to figure out. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because my time. Yeah, because I work nights, so I have to sleep during most of the day too. So that kind of screws everything up too. But no, it, it suits me fine. Because, as I say, you know, the kids are in bed, wife's gone, I've got the air come here, got that. It, it's all yeah, good. There you go. But tomorrow at six in the morning. Yeah. Everyone's up. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we'll have to um, we'll have to do another wheel of time uh, talk, I guess. Now that we have a few books in, um, yeah. just to discuss what's happening. Uh, maybe after the slog, maybe we should get done with um, the next two books before uh, we reconvene to see what's going on with everything. You, you make the call. I'll be there. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think I, I'm gonna wrap up here pretty quick. Um, I think I touched on everything I wanted to touch on, but yeah, this was great. Again, uh, uh, we have a topic, but we kind of stray off, but that's always fun. That's what makes us good. That's right. All right. Cheers, Ian. Thank All you. right. Have a good one. You too. Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> All right. So like I said, I'm going to probably wrap up here. Um, thank you all for coming. Uh, had a lot of uh, fun uh, TV talk. I think, yeah, I hit everything that I wanted to talk about. There's nothing really else in here. Um, 
Yeah. All right, everybody. Uh, until next time, uh, I'll chat with you all later. Uh, maybe next weekend I can do another live, but I have no idea what the topic would be. Um, but we will, we will see. Uh, in the meantime, everyone take care. And, uh, hey, have a fantastic week. Goodbye.